welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing um, a Q&A because, well, I feel like I should have done one at the start of my YouTube, mm, start of my YouTube, it's one of my first videos. Um, because if you have found me from YouTube or TikTok or probably anything, you don't actually know anything about me, which is kind of stupid because I should have done this at the start, but I'm here now, better late than never. I put a poll up on my, is it a poll? I don't really know. You know that question thing on my Instagram and ask you to ask me questions and I'm going to answer them for you in the video. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, starting off, I am 19 and I am from Wales. So one of the first questions was, why didn't I go, well, the question is, why didn't you go to uni? Uh, well, where do I really begin? I'm not um, academically talented, if you know what I mean. I'm not like that kind of gal. So the main thing I would have liked about uni is probably the social aspect. And if I'm honest, that is about it. I like being at home. Yeah, so like living on my own with a bunch of strangers uh, did petrify me. It was that, but I was like, oh, I'll make friends, it'll be so fun, like, yeah. Uh, but then obviously the main part of it was uh, I'd have to learn something. And I just, I just don't enjoy learning. Like obviously being in school, I went to sixth form and learning is just not my thing. The thought of uni, like uni, you do have to like kind of teach yourself, you've got to, you know, it's all on you. And if I'm honest, I couldn't have done it. I can't do it now. I would never have been able to do it. As we're on the line of school and uni situation, I'll do another school question. So someone said, what's your favorite memory of school? And I don't really know. Like, I feel like school, obviously I was there for seven years, I think. Um, Cause obviously I went to, um, school and then I went to sixth form so I think that's seven years and that happens in seven years so I was hard to think of like like pinpoint one specific thing and um yeah if you've watched my previous videos I did talk about in I think it's called come shopping with me um I was with my friend Emma at the end of the video and we talked about my Welsh lessons which I thoroughly enjoyed of just singing islands in the stream my funniest like overall thing looking back has to be right so do you know when like, it's a thing in school when when you get a handbag right so so you go to year seven with a rucksack right and when you get to like year end of year eight nine i'd say in my perspective that is when the handbags come out and you've like right you know in, like primary school when you got your pen license and you like you obviously you're allowed to use the pen and you've always got pens because you got your pen license it's kind of like the same with the handbag situations in school so basically you get to a certain age or like year group and then then you're like given the golden tickets like yes you can have a handbag you can bring a handbag to school as your school bag and you kind of just wait till someone brings a handbag in or you either are that girl who, 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 who like takes the plunge and brings the handbag to school in September, the start of the new year, or you're one that like follows. When one person gets a handbag, the entire year gets a handbag. And basically, I don't know if you think the same as me, but that's what I felt. It was like a pen license, a handbag license. That's kind of how I felt. Year sevens now go to school with handbags. What on earth? How do they go to school with ham? They literally go to school on their first day of year seven with a handbag. Now, let me tell you how I rocked up. What in year seven, on my first day of school, when I rocked up, I had a pink Adidas <laughs> a pink Adidas rucksack filled to the brim with dictionaries <laughs> in every language. What on earth? What was that about? Right, we went to this like school like open day kind of thing before I obviously before my first day of year seven and they're like you need all these dictionaries <laughs> you need all these dictionaries <laughs> English dictionary French dictionary Welsh dictionary like no basically just loads of books masses massive maths books 
like they don't have this in school, you need your own dictionary. So obviously, as I'm the oldest child, my mum's like, right, let's buy all, let's buy it all. So I rocked up to, in year seven with a pink Adidas rucksack filled to the brim with dictionaries. It weighed a ton. And I literally did that for like a month or so into, until I realised I don't need all these dictionaries in my bag. Well, I, I never used them in my life. I have never used one of those dictionaries, one of those maths books, one of those whatever books I had. And it's just, what a con. Like school scammed me. Like why say you need all this? Obviously when my brother went to school recently, he knew exactly what to do because he, his older sister had to go through the pain of carrying like 500 books. Like honestly, it was like my bag was full of bricks. That's how heavy it was. I just can't believe year sevens like going to school today with their handbags like, look at me. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, ugh, what on earth? So yeah, that's my funny opinion on school and it makes me laugh really looking back at that. Like, why was that even a thing? Okay, next one. Favourite birthday present? Question mark. Literally, I don't think I could beat this. Was being surprised on my 16th birthday and my 18th birthday. Kind of similar things. My mum surprised me with literally all my favourite people in my favourite place. How long have you been with your boyfriend? Um, I've been with Finn for five years now. Um, okay, so yeah, five years. Someone asked if I was a trust fund girl. And honestly, when I saw this question, I, I literally just couldn't stop laughing. I ran to my mum. But like, no, I wish I was a trust fund girl. Like, I'd love to be a trust fund girl, but no, I am not a trust fund girl. I don't really know why someone even assumed that. I'm not. I wish I was. If I was, I'd be on a yacht in like the south of France or Italy. If anyone follows the stay-at-home daughter on Instagram or TikTok, well, I follow the stay-at-home daughter on TikTok and Instagram and she is so entertaining. She is obviously a stay-at-home daughter and if I, if that, that would be the life I'd live if I was a trust fund child. The stay-at-home daughter honestly lives my dream life. Right, my most asked question is, what do I do for a living? What is my, I'm gonna read them all out to you because it's all kind of like, you know, what do I do for a living? Uh, where do I work? What's my job? What, what do I do? What do I do for work? So I work for all of my money. Thank you very much. I work for all of my money, apart from when my nan slips me a few quid. Thanks, nan. What is my job? That is a secret I'll never tell. Exo, exo, Gossip Girl. Jokes. Have you seen um, uh, Gossip Girl? It's actually on BBC iPlay now. I've been watching it so much. Like, I love Gossip Girl. And when they took it on Netflix, I was really devastated. But they have now released it on BBC iPlayer. So if you didn't know that, go and watch it now. My job is I can't really say too much at the minute because I've been working on something for a while. So soon... I don't know how soon, but soon you will know. Follow me on Instagram because I might like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm more, I don't know, more, well, I'm, obviously I'm, I'm on Instagram every day, so you probably see on Instagram, Bay. how do you go to London all the time? Um, I don't really know what this kind of means um, because I'm like, how do I get there? I get to London on a train. Uh, I suppose I do go to London quite a bit and it's because I love London. I'm either there because I love London. Uh, I am either there to film a YouTube video. I'm either there to just have a great time and go to all the restaurants that I love. Uh, I'm either there because Finn is modeling and if you didn't know, Finn, um, is a model. He's just done a Louis Vuitton campaign. Very proud. The fifth reason of why or how I go to London is because my best friend, Emma, shout out to you. Also, Emma bought me this beautiful cup. Thank you so much, Emma. This is beautiful. I love it. Pink hearts, definitely my thing. Yeah, Emma is in university in London, the midwife girl she is, and 
yeah so they are the five reasons of why i go to london all the time and speaking of london i am going there on monday so you'll see me there well you won't actually see me there well you will see me there if you follow me on instagram go follow me on instagram if you don't already follow me on instagram going up to see emma this time and we're gonna have a fabulous time we're gonna film youtube videos together um, what a supportive friend. Okay, on the topic of like my nan, shout out to you nan, I hope you're enjoying this video. See you next week for your sh food shopping! My nan and pap, well, pap, I don't really know if anyone else called, they, right, basically my granddad um, was called, we called him pap. And I don't really know if anyone else did this, but if I refer to him as, well, I will refer to him as pap, you know, that means granddad. My pap had an allotment and where um, they live. I was a little, little child, like maybe like three or four, three and four, I believe, five. Oh, well, I was at the allotment all the time. I'm an allotment kind of gal when I was little. I to Finn about this the other day because I just couldn't believe it. So basically, um, we were talking about gooseberries. Now, I don't really know if you know what a gooseberry is. A gooseberry, gooseberry. Um, but it's a gooseberry. I don't really know how to describe a gooseberry, if I'm completely honest with you, um, other than what it is. It's a fruit, it's a gooseberry. And Pap used to have like loads of like bushes kind of of gooseberry, they're gooseberry bushes. And I used to eat them all the time. And I was speaking to this I was speaking to Finn about this, and he was like, What is a gooseberry? And I was like, Oh my god, am I the only child who knows what a gooseberry is? Because like to be fair, they're not sold in supermarkets. Well, not that I've ever seen in my life. Um, they're not sold in supermarkets. Like, like where would you see a gooseberry? It's not like a common fruit. And I was just shocked that he didn't know what one was. And I was like, I literally like had like 500, thousands of these when I was little. And I just couldn't believe that he didn't know what a gooseberry was. And it made me think, am I the only child who knows what a gooseberry is? Like, I hope not, because let me tell you, it is a delicious fruit. And, um you should definitely try and find a gooseberry if you haven't tried them before because they are like elite. What eyeliner do you use? Well, thank you for asking me this question. I find it really funny talking about eyeliner because I went to a stage in like year eight maybe. Uh, I used to buy this one from Mac and it was this little pot of like I don't know, like eyeliner, but it was like in a little pot. I used to buy that all the time and paint my um, eyeliner on so thick. I do it so thick up here. Same kind of wing kind of like, ooh, am I going back to those days? But black all underneath here. And why I did that, I have no idea. It was like the same stage as like the thick eyebrows. You know when like everyone used to put their eyebrows like this? Why was that a thing? Why did we all think we looked great? And my mum was like, well, you might have looked great, but I sure didn't. And my mum was like, Ma, stop going to school with all that makeup on you. Look at your eyebrows. I'm like, mum, everyone does it. It's a thing. You just don't know, mum. Like, God, I wish I listened to my mother. Oh, it's like, looking back, I was like, what was I doing? Why didn't I listen to my mum? Like, literally, if your mum doesn't tell you, to, if your mum says, like, do this or do that, listen to her because she's 99.9% .9 right why I painted my eyebrows on that thick and I don't know if she really told me about the eyeliner she just hated foundation and my eyebrows and I'm sorry ma'am I should have listened okay someone said foot reveal question mark why people are so obsessed with feet reveals I have no idea I kind of discovered this on TikTok and people just kept saying feet reveal, foot reveal question mark, foot reveal, show us your feet. Why? Why do you want to see my feet? I just think it's so bizarre. Like, I can't believe people actually, like, actually ask that. And it's actually become, like, a family joke now. We're all like, foot reveal, oh, foot reveal. And it's like, why is that a thing? Why do you want to see my feet? Like, like, why? Do you know what I mean? Like, I, <laughs> I'm saying this, and literally staring at my foot, like, why do you want to look at that? pets question mark question mark so i'm guessing that means do you have any pets and does two goldfish count main animal love um are let me tell you can you not judge me now because i know i'm 19 my love for these little animals is just unreal um 
Okay, so if you didn't already know, I'm obsessed with jelly cats. If you don't know what a jelly cat is, get to know because they are the best make of teddies in the entire world. I have built a collection over the years and when I say I'm obsessed, I, I am obsessed. This is like my cutest little, oh, they're all so cute, but this is like, okay, have, hi everyone. This is Tootles, my turtle, my tortoise. Um, obviously this is, that is what it looks like. That's the jelly cat logo. Um, so I do have a collection. So we've got her, we've got the octopus. Right, we're gonna have to be here a while. I'll speed this up. The octopus, little macaroon. Okay, maybe she's not an animal, but she's a, she's a macaroon. So, you know, elephant, baby elephant. Oh, so cute. Also, these are great for kids. If you have kids, if you have babies, if like, you know, someone who's like, having a baby, buy them one of these, they're beautiful. end of this video thank you so much for watching please like and please subscribe that would be incredible like amazing like best thing ever i'll see you next video